Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of ureterovesical junction, juve G obstruction, causing hydronephrosis and hydroureters. Two stones are also seen in the distal portion of the ureter. You can see the right kidney and it shows moderate to severe hydronephrosis with hydronephrosis. I do ureter, this is liver, this is the right kidney. The patient is aged about 22 years, a male patient. A ureteral stricture is narrowing of the ureter that causes an obstruction in the flow of urine. This narrowing causes an obstruction in the flow of urine. It can also be caused by kidney stones, upper urinary tract inflammation or a tumor. Now you can see the tracing of the ureter and here as the ureter is crossing the iliac vessels, you can differentiate the ureter from the iliac vessels with Doppler flow. Now this is the right ureter and these are the iliac vessels. Again, you can see the differentiation of the iliac vessels from the ureter with the blood flow. You can see the blood flow is seen in the iliac vessels, but not in the ureter. Ureterovesical junction refers to blockage of this area. The obstruction impedes the flow of urine down the bladder, causing the urine to back up into the dilated ureters and kidney so there is mega ureter and idonephrosis because prostate is common in older men obstruction is more common among men other common causes of obstruction include strictures narrowing caused by the scar tissue of the ureter and urethra that develops after radiation therapy, surgery or procedures done on the urinary tract. You can see the right ureter. This is urinary bladder. Again, you can see the differentiation between the ureter and the iliac vessels. A ureterovesical junction obstruction is blockage to this area where the ureter meets the bladder. Ureterical, what is the ureterovesical junction obstruction? The ureterovesical junction is locate, located where the ureter, the tubes that drain urine from the kidney meets the bladder. Ureterovesical junction obstruction refers to the blockage to this area. Stones that block the ureter or any of the kidney, kidneys drain, draining tubes may cause symptoms that include severe intermittent pain in the upper flanks that can radiate to the lower abdomen and can cause nausea and vomiting. Now you can see the ureter in its lower one third near the urinary bladder. You can see two stones but it is clearly seen that stones are not causing complete obstruction of the ureter and they give way to the urine to pass go to, to go into the urinary bladder but there is an obstruction at the ureter of junction, junction which is causing the hydro ureter and hydronephrosis of the kidney now you can see both the stones Stones that block the ureter or any of the kidneys drain, draining tube may cause symptoms. Treatment of ureter stricture may include surgical implantation of a stent to open the narrowed section of the ureter or immediately or minimally invasion robotic surgery to reconstruct the urinary tract. The goal is to fix the stricture permanently and avoid the long-term use of stents 
whenever possible. Now you can see these stones are also seen, but the urine is clearly passing along these stones into the ureter. But this cause of this dilatation is the ureter vesical junction obstruction. So the ureterovesical junction obstruction is blockage into the one or both of the tubes that are ureters that carry urine from the kidney to the bladder. Ureteral obstruction can be curable. However, if it is not treated, symptoms can quickly move from mild pain, fever and infection to severe loss of kidney functions and sepsis. Ureteral obstruction is fairly common because it's Treatable severe complications are very rare. Now you will see the uh, interesting movement of the stones in the ureters. You can see the movements of the ureter ureteral stones. You can see the interesting movement of the ureteral stones as the amount of urine builds up some urine escapes through the the structure but again regurgitate backwards and stones are pushed upwards towards the kidney so signs and symptoms might include the change pain changes in the amount of urine produced Difficulty in urination, blood in the urine, repeated urinary tract infections, high blood pressure. And some of the causes of this dupl are duplication of the ureters and abnormality where the ureter connects the bladder to the kidney, ureterocele and retoperitoneal fibrosis. Other possible causes may include ureteral stones, severe constipation, which is most commonly seen in children, but also occurs in adults, cancerous and non-cancerous tumors. Internal tissue growth, such as endometriosis in females and long-standing swelling of the ureteral wall, usually due to the diseases such as tuberculosis or parasitic infections called cystosomiasis. You can find some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.